Well, I'm here killing time before I have to go do what I have to do. And you know, I said, I've seen a couple of things today lately that really have annoyed me. For instance, men, if you're gonna wear t-shirts, please let them be fitted. And please, if you're trying to impress a woman, do not have the t-shirt have holes on it, worn out collars, that they are so stretched out that they're snugging over your belly, your beer belly, making it look like you're pregnant. Seriously, that is not gonna impress a woman. Okay, faded t-shirts, come on. After it's green and now it's almost white, it's time to get a new t-shirt. People in traffic, we all know, we all get annoyed by people and traffic. If I'm on the right lane and you're about to turn right hand side in front of me and you cut, you speed up and you cut in front of me because you can't wait for my car to pass you and you're going super slow. Obviously, if you had to go and take that stop sign and cut in front of me, it's because you're in a hurry. But no, you had to cut in front of me so you can go at five freaking miles an hour. Does that even make sense? If you're going to use a drive through you better know what you want. I mean, how many times have you gone to the same fast food place? I mean... There's only so many Burger Kings, many McDonald's, Subway, Sonics, etc., etc., etc. And for years, they've had the same menu over and over. If you're going to be at the drive through of McDonald's and not know what the hell you want, then what you need to do is get out of the drive through park your damn car, and go inside the business and check out the menu because you're holding everybody else up. Because when we get the drive through is because we're in a hurry. It's called fast food. Also, what annoys me is if you're going to drink the last of whatever it is on the fridge, tea, milk, if there's this much left in there, the obvious thing to do is to finish that or just throw the damn thing out. But no. You leave it because, you know, maybe the next person might want that little bit of drink out of whatever it is. No. And I also think men forget that women use the bathroom too. If there's a unisex bathroom, guys, seriously, lift the damn lid. Women sit on the toilet. I wish we'd all could stand up and pee, but we have to sit down the last thing I want to see is your damn pee on the toilet seat waiting for me to sit my ass down if you have to pee on the lid or pee on the floor then I think you have issues and you need to fix them quick and in a hurry I ain't your mama I ain't your wife I ain't gonna clean up after you and the people who do clean the bathroom there aren't your mama there aren't your wives they're just there to clean the establishment, not clean after your nasty ass. How about that? Do rags? Seriously? This is 2010. Do rags were back in the 90s. Get over it. It's not cool anymore. It's pretty much retarded. And if you're white and you're wearing a do rag, you seriously need to start considering. And realizing that you're white there's no reason for do rags do rags were invented for the beauty shop and they should stay at the beauty shop pants below the ass thing that ship has sailed it's time to bring those pants up just a little more it's not attractive it's not fashionable anymore pick the damn pants up there was this lady at this bar I went to okay it's fine to be proud of your body be proud of who you are but just cuz it looks nice on the mannequin 
does not mean it's going to look nice on you. If your boobs are all the way down below your waist and you're wearing that nice sleeveless blouse without a bra, it does not look attractive. If you have a huge belly and you decide to wear a belt and the belt goes under the belly, that is so not cute. You need to find clothes that fit according to your body. Take it from a big girl. That does not look nice. I don't want to see your sagging boobs and I don't want to see your nasty ass belly hanging over your belt. I think the only ones that are allowed to do that are men. If you're going to wear jeans, please wear jeans that do not make your ass look like it's dragging. The pockets in the back have to be nicely centered on the roundness of your ass so your ass looks perky. If you're going to wear jeans with pockets in the back, do not buy the jeans that have the pockets below the rim of your ass. That will make your ass look droopy and saggy. And in a young girl, that does not look attractive. And if you have a big ass, your ass is going to look saggy as hell. So if you're going to buy a pair of jeans, I know they have fitting rooms and those fitting rooms have mirrors, turn around and look at your ass because the rest of us have to. And to my big girls, white pants are not attractive on a big girl at all. If you got a huge ass, if you have a huge stomach, if you got huge thighs, white pants are not the way to go. Trust me, it looks nasty as hell. It enhances your cellulite, it enhances your imperfections. I don't want to see cottage cheese just like the next person doesn't want to see cottage cheese. I will not show you my cottage cheese, and I don't want to see your cottage cheese. And if you're gonna wear white pants, if you're gonna be stubborn as hell as you're gonna wear white pants. Please wear something according to your body. Do not try to fit your triple X body into a one X. Let's be real. We're big girls, therefore we need bigger clothes. So for now, that's all I have to say. I've been driving and I've been seeing pretty much annoying things today. So I had to release and let it go. You will agree or disagree. That's okay. It's my opinion. That's what it is and opinion so with that said talk to you later bye